hello and welcome back to the dojo Dominating. we are going to be learning how to combo with sword and hammer this is going to go with the lesson two in the written guide which is linked down in the description let's get into it so let's set up the training room we are going to walk the bot here into the center we are going to turn on position reset, damage reset, go back to control player, and we're also going to turn show stun to on. Go ahead and get a sword, and the first combo we are going to learn is downlight recovery. All you do is literally press downlight and then recovery to get this combo off. The uh, sword recovery can be controlled. So depending on how close you are when you land down light, if we're right on top of the road bar, you don't really have to move too far to land the recovery. You can just press the button. But if you land the down light from over here, just pressing recovery will make you whiff. So you've got to move underneath bode bar. There's a little bit of timing to it. And right there, we just saw why we have show stun on said dodge window two. If you wait too long to press recovery, there will be a moment where the opponent can dodge and it'll pop up with that text where it'll say dodge window and then the number is how many frames they have to dodge. So you can see where he hit the down light Bodvar has show stun on, so he's in that blue color. The bot Bodvar, that is. He's still in that blue color. It means he's in hit stun. He comes out of hit stun. Then we do the recovery, so he could have dodged there. But once you get comfortable landing the downlight recovery, practice different distances with dash just like you did in lesson one. And now we have a combo that we can follow up with. Downlight recovery on sword is gonna give you damage and KOs. And after you get the hang of downlight recovery, we're gonna work on downlight side air. After you do the downlight, you input a jump and then a side air immediately after. You do have to jump before you side air However, you're trying to press the attack button as close to jump as possible while not doing it at the same time. So if you're playing on a controller, uh, one mistake a lot of new players make is they'll use their thumb tip and they'll tap the attack button for down light and then they'll pick up their thumb, tap the jump button, pick up their thumb and tap the attack button again. It helps if you lay your thumb across both buttons using the the top kind of the thumb tip to press the attack button and the base of your thumb to press the jump you do it in one rolling motion and just like you did with the recovery once you get comfortable with down light side air practice doing the dash into it you can practice back dash into it uh, but do note that if you're too close to the enemy when you down light you won't be able to land the side air Now we're gonna look at the basic hammer combos. We're gonna do down light to side light. If you're too close when you land the down light, you're not gonna be able to connect side light. In those cases, you can jump and down air. You do the down air just like you did the side air with the sword where you're jumping and then immediately inputting the attack. But you have to be sure to press the jump button first. And once you're comfortable doing down light to side light, go ahead and turn off damage reset in the bot settings. And you'll notice that as you do this combo, the damage builds up. Eventually, the bot will get too hurt that it gets popped up too high for that to connect. When that happens, you do a jump side air. Just like you did with the sword, there's a slightly longer delay after the down light until you can jump with hammer, but otherwise it's exactly the same. 
to practice these combos and of course just like with the sword practice your dash into down right try and get the spacing for down air uh, and just become comfortable with this movement there is also a damage range where both side air and side light will connect with the bot it's around the light orange you can also go into the bot settings here and you can set the damage you can set that all the way up to 200 and now we can just practice our down light side air combo on hammer the bot will die to this oh, we have to turn damage reset back on so the bot will die to this combo and it will let us rapid fire practice this and you can do the same with the sword. Remember, the recovery is going to be a KO. So you can see that uh, side air barely kills there. So if we set the damage to 170, we'll see if side air kills. Doesn't quite kill, but recovery is still going to easily get the knockout. I do want you to be aware that sword and hammer do have other combos. We will get into those later, but for now, just focus on the basics and try and land those in your games. Once you're able to do that consistently, we can build on that and start to develop a more advanced game.